What is up guys, it is DMG here and today we are going to be looking at the team of the season Elkison card and this is going to be an SBC, it's around 40k or so and it requires a Chinese league player, a team this season, an 83 rated squad and 75 chemistry. So the requirements are actually not that bad. I think a lot of people at this point have a team in the season card and along with that um, I think that 83 rated squad is very very manageable. About 40k on Xbox and PlayStation. Again, that's not that bad. And then when you look at uh, the cheapest ratings for 90 overall, I believe that a couple of them are team of seasons, but I mean, you have a couple here. Uh, there's another team of seasons that's around 37K. So other team of seasons are around this price, which isn't that bad, especially because while the other ones are tradable, most likely they're gonna be for fodder. You're not gonna be actually using them to actually play, so they are just gonna be essentially SBC, same as this guy potentially. And along with that, uh, at this point, you're probably gonna have untradeable, so it's gonna be actually cheaper. So you're looking at maybe 25, 30K or so if you have untradeables, which again is cheaper than any other team of the season that you could buy off of the market. So that's very good here. And his his links aren't that great because he used to be Brazilian, which would have been fantastic. However, uh, he'd change his nationality to Chinese, but he is uh, actually playing for the same team as Paulinho. So you can get a strong link to Paulinho, and then Paulinho can link to one of the other Brazilian strikers in the Chinese league, such as Jonathan or Alex Teixeira. So there's some good options here, right? As long as you have either some icons or you have Paulinho. So looking at his card, it's actually somewhat interesting. Uh, the pace, there's a little bit of discrepancy there. However, 99 acceleration is something I would prefer over 99 sprint speed. Uh, the 89 finishing is a little low, but with a sniper, it goes to 99. The dribbling is not great, but again, with a sniper, that does get increased to 99 agility, 90 balance, 90, uh, 97 dribbling, and then 94 ball control. He has very good physicals on him. He's four star, four star, high medium. So he looks to have a decent card with a sniper on him. And, you know, we put him in this team. Again, we have some icons around him. If again, if you do have um, one, if you have some different icons, uh, two, if you have some other, some good Chinese league players, if you have Paulinho, that'd be even better. So there are manageable links. However, it's going to be a little bit tougher, uh, obviously, to link him in general just because of the Chinese league. We are going to be playing him as a striker who goes forward, so we're going to try him out in a two-striker front and then as well as a one-striker front just to see what the difference, uh, how, how we the difference he plays between one and two strikers. All right, so first team, and um, you know that's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good team, I, I would say. Okay, so his his actions on the ball are actually kind of weird, right? So he has a stocky profile. So he feels not necessarily clunky, but it just feels kind of weighted. He feels weighted down a little bit. And, and that could be part of the gameplay. But I, it's not as if it's bad. Like, I don't dislike it. It's just different so far. Oof. So I'm not really liking his run making or positioning so far. He always seems to kind of run at the wrong moments, it seems like. So his positioning could be a little bit better. But yeah, like I said, his dribbling isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Get there, get there. Okay, he's... Oh God, yeah, man. He has good strength, but I'm not sure why he couldn't hold off the defender there. Oh, fuck off. So after the first half, I mean, there's there's literally one shot in total, and there's literally nothing's really happened. You know, the, I, we haven't really got him the ball at all. It is what it is, man. That's the that's rivals. But yeah, we haven't really got him the ball. And again, could be because it's the gameplay, a little bit defensive, whatever it may be. But there's still always chances for players to be able to actually do something. Now, whether or not they can is is related to the gameplay, but he's not even giving himself the opportunity, and that's what's frustrating. God damn, dude. Okay, go Out of all of the players to pass to, why him? Why there? Really? Oh my god. Ooh, that's a good move, and then it gets blocked. 
Jesus. There it is, boys. The toxicity is real. That's what we like to see. See, like right there, man, that run, it's gotta be better. Jesus, no fucking way, man. Like, what do you want me to do? So if my players aren't open, what should I do? Like, I'm like, I'm genuinely curious. Like, if they're not open, like, what, what do I do? I'm not just going to run forward blindly, right? Like, why would I do that? Okay, so that first game kind of showed how bad he might be. Um, hopefully we can get some more chances, because Jesus Christ, that was genuinely god-awful. Hopefully this game is gonna be at least a little bit different. Ooh, that was good. And that should be a goal. Can we get across? Is that... that's that's an own, own goal. Okay. Well, good run making by Muller. Elkson with the... what? Four star skills in order to actually get the pass to him. Should have been a goal, but it's going to be an own goal in the end. It's one tackle. Two tackle. Okay. Ooh, he's wide open. Mueller? Okay, is this just going to turn into the Mueller show or something? Like, what is happening? The guy is a G. I should use him more often. Hit it, Oh boy, I thought that was it. That's like the first actual shot that we've gotten with him. Okay, yeah, see, I'm noticing this is kind of the first time he's actually been getting on the ball. Elkson, good. Oh, that's good. Weak foot! Ah, okay. Yeah, to the Costa. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not sure really what to do here, to be honest. Elkson's not getting involved whatsoever. He just seems to be completely disappearing. Yeah, see, like I don't see. Look at that. Elkison is not making good runs. He's taking himself out of the attack completely. He like goes to the wing. That's just genuinely so bad. Oh, see, and right there, man. That was bad touch around. Like, it was a good ball roll, good ball control there. But then as soon as I try to actually go to the outside... Holy crap, why can't I do anything? As soon as I try to go to the outside, nothing's really working. What is happening? Holding LT? No, just holding LT. And he's just going to fall and it's a penalty. Got it. Okay, Elkison, good header. It's like the one good thing I can say about you, this game. Oh, that's good, actually. Dude, Mueller is killing it as the second striker. Seriously, he's absolutely dominating. Elgison has not even been involved whatsoever. He won the kickoff, or not the kickoff, the goal kick, and then that's pretty much it. That's like all he's done, this game. Oh god, yeah man, he's not even involved whatsoever. Okay, so that's just where we're gonna call it, because I can't really see him making any type of impact after that, genuinely. There, his positioning is just not good enough, like his acceleration is 99, Fair enough. And he seemed to be able to turn well, but as soon as you get past, like, that turn, that first few touches after you turn and make that initial burst forward, his dribbling starts to show. He has the stocky body type, so that might be why he also doesn't feel that good on the ball, even with good dribbling, uh, at least with the sniper, chem style. His positioning was the worst part. 
I would say. Because again, if you look at his, some of his stats, it's not even that bad. He has good link-up play. He has a lot of just good, just kind of, you know, shooting. Again, acceleration, physical, four-star, four-star, high, medium. But his positioning is so bad, he literally cannot give himself the opportunity to do anything. And that is, that is the worst thing. Like, players who have zero positioning and have terrible run making, can't position, whatever it is, they are the worst players to play with because even if they are god tier stats wise, even if you shoot the ball and every time you shoot the ball it goes in, if you can't get them the ball, it doesn't even matter. And this is what it, you know, this is what it is for, for Elkison, right? You cannot get him the ball because his positioning is so bad. And it's so weird because, again, even on his base card 92 positioning, it's not like that's bad. Even with you know with a sniper, it's 97. That's fantastic. So I personally don't really understand why his positioning is so bad. And yeah, there's definitely going to be players who are better at this point. So, you know, if you need him for links, I don't really think you would because I think there are better options that have better links out there. At, at the very least, right, for me, it's not a waste because it's fodder, right? That, that's what it is. If you look at this card and you think, oh, I might like him, you try him out and you don't like him, at the very least, he's fodder. So that's that's good for me, right? Because I did not like him. I do not want to play with him anymore. At least, at the very least, he's fodder. Simple as that. Not really any harm done, genuinely, right? I turned in a 90-rated team of the season for him, and I got a 90 team of the season in return. Same thing, no harm, no foul. But in terms of actually using this guy, it's not going to be worth it, and I do not recommend him in the slightest. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been DMG. Peace.